Welcome everybody to the Victory in Biz Accountability and Success Call with me, Vanessa Raymond, your confidence and success coach. As always, I love Mondays because I get to see my, my clan, my crowd, my peeps. <laughs> I love you all. It's so good to have you all here. Lisa, welcome. Uh, good to see you. All right. So let's just jump right in. Who here went to university last week? One, two, three, four, four. Okay. So I have a, I have a special uh, ex assignment for you today. You're not going to give me your number one goal for the week. If you did university last week, I'd like for you to share with me the number one takeaway from university. Okay. Your number one takeaway from university. If you, uh, there's Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Jamie, I was just saying, those of you who were in university last week, when I get to you, I'd like you to share your number one takeaway from university. Okay. And then everyone else is going to share their number one goal for the week. All right. So with that said, um, let's just start with Mac. Mac, you're in the right corner, upper corner of my screen. You're my number one today. So how about you share your um, number one goal for the week? Well, it, it's kind of a prep week. Uh, over the next couple weeks, I'm making some uh, major moves. And I'm just trying to get everything in order to see if I can do what I want to do. Okay. So we, we have a call tomorrow. I'm seeing uh, Robert on Wednesday. Yeah. It's so all, lots of good like, stuff. A, yeah. a lot of things are tied in to achieve. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you, Mac. So good. Uh, Robert and Noel. Noel, why don't you go first? Number one goal for the week. <laughs> um, this week, I'm working on getting signups for my women's event uh, Wednesday night. All right, ladies, we're doing a women's day event. Noel put it all together. I'll be speaking and a few other great speakers, Genesis and a few others. Please join us. Please go register. If you don't know where, text Noel or text me. We'll get you the link. Okay. We'd love for you to join us. We're praying for Michelle to get better. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. 5 p.m. on Wednesday. All right, Robert, what you got going on? Gosh, still continuing the rebrand out of, out of, uh, so creating new catalog and a new uh, explanation of our coaching process. Okay. okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Happy to hear that. Keep it up. All right, Lori, my love, you got to share your number one takeaway from university. Well, that's tough because there's a lot. But I would say the systems packet was really key for me, that packet that I have to put together. And the connections, and I see a lot of you here. It's so awesome. I just booked four speaking opportunities today. I'm so excited. And I may have, and I may have my venue for my um, benefit concert for my foundation. So, wow, I'm girl, excited. good. So we're getting that ball rolling. Oh, I love it. I absolutely. love it. I love it. Congratulations, four speaking gigs. Yes, to promote the foundation. I got to so step it up a bit here, man. <laughs> Keep up with Lori. I'm All working. right. <laughs> Kim, you you're next. Okay. Well, like Lori, I'm like, I don't really have one thing that I took away, but I will say it got me thinking about some other, I have already a lot of revenue streams, but um, kind of, as I think you guys know, like timing wise, I'm going to be having to leave the state. And so start a kind of puts a hinder on what I'm trying to do. So just coming up with that high end thing that maybe I can do to be able to put that together. So that got my mind really thinking on, you know, what can I do? That's a high end offer. Awesome. Right Fantastic. Out. Caroline, I just noticed you're here. I want to say hi. Uh, thank you, Kim. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Yes. Get those revenue streams going. Wendy. Uh, like everybody else, it was a bunch of things, but the biggest thing for me was clarity. Clarity. Yeah. Clarity in any specific area of your business? Or um, just my general? target clientele. Mm -hmm. and clarity on uh, what my next steps are. Okay. All right. That's great because that's ultimately one of the most important things. So I'm so happy you got more clarity on that. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. 
Um, Michelle, can you speak, my lovey? Just share your number one goal for the week. I'll sure try. Uh, <laughs> my number one goal for this week is finishing up my uh, new catalogs and making those changes to the website as well so that everything is cohesive and ready to roll out with the push of a button if somebody requests information. Fantastic. Love that. Awesome. Thank you, Michelle. Hope you feel better soon, sweetheart. Laura, lovely. I love your colors. You all like branded there in your room and your banner and your shirt and your everything. It's 70 degrees and sunny and I felt springy. So <laughs> Yay, look beautiful. All right. What's your number one goal for the week? Uh, well, I, I achieved my goal from last week and I got two birds and one stone. So uh, I talked to the Monroe House Coffee Shop here in Fairgrove, and not only are they happy to host um, a book signing for me, but they're happy to host my meetup uh, meetings. So I will have a place for my meetup meetings to start, and if they get too large, I can use the community house in the Fairgrove, and they're all free. So they don't even want part of the profits. They, uh, uh, they said I could donate to the coffee shop, but they don't even want half the profits from book signing, and I'm like, Okay. <laughs> well, you know, you're going to bring people in there for them and people are going to buy drinks and, you know, so it's great. It's a And great that's exactly how they see it. And they're very flexible. So um, I'm looking that's forward to that. I did that this morning. Wonderful. Congratulations. Otherwise, I need to finish. I, 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 I've got this one upgraded to Windows 11, <laughs> cleaning up all my files. And I moved everything just in case anything crashed so I wouldn't lose anything. So I've been working on a lot of computer behind the scenes stuff, and I'm hoping to finish that up this week. Okay. Well, fantastic. Now, everyone, I'm going to take a screenshot. I want you all to smile. Smile for the camera. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Shana. You're up next, my love. What's your number one goal for the week? Number one goal is continuing to um, finish up this book with Rob. We got some finishing touches. Going to insert everything today and uh, keep keep rolling on that. It should be out in the next 60 days. Yes, we got to get that cover done too. Okay. Yes. By the way, I oh no, I have a photo of you. That's good. I was going to say, I, we need a photo of you, but I have it. I have it. Thank you. Okay. Well yeah. done, girlfriend. That's Thank you're you. moving fast. I love it. Lisa, you were at university. Do you want to share your number one takeaway from university? The five things are actually 75. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, just getting through, I would say the catalog is my number one goal this week. Fantastic. And finding someone who can look at each page and go, hey, that sales copy sucks or this sales copy is good. Right. Uh, you know who's really good at that is Suzanne Ecker. Do you know her? I don't think so. She's pretty good with that. I can connect you with her or you, if you want someone to professionally look at it, Shelly's our editor, but any of us, I mean, I would be happy to look at it. Uh, okay. If you send it to me, I can help you with that. It's not my expertise. I'm not the best at it, but I can give you my personal opinion. Okay, great. Thank you. Awesome. JC, what you take away from university? It was your second time. Uh, well, um, show up here. Uh, show I kept, here. I yes. kept missing, I kept missing these meetings because, uh, um, every time, you know, Monday, Monday comes and goes so fast that I used, you know, at the end of the day, I was like, oh my God, it was, it was today, earlier today. So I finally, finally put it on my phone and schedule it and make sure that I remember every week. Thank you, JC. Thank you for being here. And, uh, yeah. You'll get a lot out of it. So have Thanks. that. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Eva, 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 never, ever, ever. What you got for us? What's your number one goal this week, lovely? She's struggling to unmute there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I got a new iMac. I'm trying to learn it, navigate it um, because I need to get my... Um, one punch superstars show going get the price list going um uh, get the logo and so the biggest thing for me is to get all that going so i can start selling it okay fantastic uh i know you like to do a lot of your own graphics did i share that uh app with you for the logos no okay so there's an app called art text on the mac okay as so a what it's called art text Okay. 
and it's fabulous for logos. Okay, I'll do that because, you know, I try it and then so I get so, it's hard to do your own stuff. Yes, it is. But uh, if you need help, let me know, okay, honey? Oh, I always do. It's like, help. wonderful, Awesome. Well, Liz is here. Welcome, Liz. Good to see you, honey. Uh, you were in university this week. And, um, and so will you share with us what was your number one takeaway from university? My, well, in addition to the ninja, spider ninja, I think the biggest takeaway was that magical speaker sheet and the idea of attaching it or attaching the catalog to just create engagement and have something like plug and play just ready to go. So I'm feeling more optimistic about speaking engagements. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, the catalog, if you compress it a couple of times, um, it's actually great. I put mine in my, um, actually put it on my signature so that I don't have to attach it every time. So if it's compressed well, you can actually do that too. So you don't have to every time think about adding it unless you don't want to share it with everybody. But um, yeah, that's a awesome. Fantastic. Kim Conrad. She also did university for the second time. So tell us what was your second time biggest takeaway from uni? I, I did. I, I highly recommend you if it's your first time that you do it again. Um, much more extensive experience, a lot more dots connecting, lots of takeaways. I, um, I came up with, uh, with talking with Lisa, make my idea real, um, 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 idea that really felt right, only we're trying to recreate it. I'm trying to recreate it because the domain is taken. Um, and, um, uh, so... And I'm, and so one of my biggest things to do this week, um, one of the biggest holiday shows in the Denver area got canceled. Oh, so okay. I am, I am searching for a replacement at the moment. Um, okay. And then um, uh, got a meeting on Thursday to help flush out um, my branding and um, and uh, make more progress on YouTube. Which, if any of you, if I may, if it's all right, um, we're heading towards 1,500 subscribers. I am, and if I may put my uh, YouTube channel link in the in the uh, chat, chat box, I'd love for you to to add your name if that feels right for you. So thank you very much. Fantastic, Kim. Fantastic. Yeah, please do. Um, everyone, please do join uh, Kim's YouTube channel. All right. Thomas, Mr. Suski, welcome. Good to see you here. So you did university Thank you. Thank also you. for the second time. Mm -hmm. uh, let us know what yeah. was your biggest takeaway from university. Um, I think just picking back on what Kim said, um, like the more you kind of integrate this stuff, that's less overwhelming, and then it kind of you can see the path easier and. Right now, the path is just very clear, and um, and it just seems easy right now. That's my takeaway. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. How many on this call do not know Thomas? Everybody know? Some, some people don't know you, Thomas. Quickly tell them very, very quickly in three seconds what you do. <laughs> okay, three seconds. I call myself the mind guy. I'm a mental reprogrammer, engineer of the mind. I help people with any habit that's getting in the way of getting what they want, and I'm launching a mindset academy for entrepreneurs and business owners to uh, teach them the tools to help overcome their own personal limitations. And it's community-based. So that's a little bit about what I do. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thomas. Awesome. That was good. Mm -hmm. That was very good. All right. Jamie Beauty, she also did university again. Was this your second time? Fourth. Fourth time. <laughs> like Fourth, fourth time. time. That's what fourth I thought. Fourth and it was... <laughs> It was the best one, I have to say. Like, I, I really, I agree. You got to just keep going. Every time has been so different and I've gotten great nuggets from each one. But I think out of this one, I feel like I have more of an action plan than I ever have before. So yeah, very motivated and excited. And yeah, just love it. And I'm here too. 
And you're here too. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Wonderful. Thanks, Jamie. Caroline, it's so good to see you again, my darling. And Caroline actually has a win to celebrate. So I'm going to have you share your win, Caroline. I'm talking about your your uh, reward, your your award. My award. <clears throat> well, that was a great surprise. Um, the International uh, Organization of Top Professionals awarded me the CEO of the year um, for alternative and holistic health. So that was cream on the cake for me, really. Um, yes. Much, much appreciated. And um, I sat here like a lemon the other Monday. Uh, and then I realized you were um, you were on holiday or something over there. Oh, did I? Care? Oh, yeah, we had a we had a holiday two weeks ago. Yeah. So yes. I sat here and I realized I boo booed. And then I'm sorry, uh, honey. I, I teach yoga on a Monday and people hold me back and I say, I've got to go. I've got to go because I want to get to this meeting. And I'm glad I made it tonight. You know, my it's on my agenda. I've got to make more connections with with you. I'd, I'd love to have a one to one with you, Thomas. We're looking, you know, at collaborations. You know, the, the body work supports the mind work. And um, yeah, I'm delighted that Laura gave me an opportunity to talk on her Facebook in an interview. And um, I want to get to the next university. I don't want to hear you all saying what a wonderful time you had. Uh, I mean, we want you here. So for those of you who don't know, Caroline's in England. So she did come out to a conference in October. And so, you know, it's it's a long trip. But uh, Caroline, you'll be happy to know that Rob and I are busy setting up our basement studio. And his plan is to record university down there so that people that are not from here can also participate. Of course, we'd prefer if you were here in person. But in the meantime... Would be great for you just to get all the information so yeah no wonderful and i and i'm i've got to work on collaborations and and yes. get business up and out there all over the place and then i can come over every time and that will be exactly. wonderful exactly let's do that so people those of you who haven't connected with caroline please do she's fabulous okay well you all need to connect with each other you know that but that's specifically her goal this week so please do reach out to her tammy Ms. Walden. Hi, Vanessa. How are oh, you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm so excited. You know that. I'm one of those jumper around butterflies. <laughs> oh, nice. So share with us what you got to share. Well, I, about university, I, I wasn't expecting what I got. Let me just put it in those three words. Because it was amazing. It was very friendly, oriented. Um, I did see a lot of people that I saw when I first went to the first convention that you had, but I got to be honest, the first one I went to, it kind of overwhelmed me because I was like, what is going on here? And what is this all about? And then when I went to university, well, really, it was the next one I went to kind of clarified it a little bit, but university put it all together. Wonderful. It, it puts your mind where your mind needed to be. It connected Correct. you with the people that you needed to connect with. It helped me find out how to, who I needed to talk to, where I needed to go, and what I needed to get done. Fantastic. And, but the speakers, I mean, all of, all of you guys were just fantastic. And to me, you know, I learned so much, I really can't put it all in a nutshell. Okay. But, um, it was wonderful. It was good. And, and, I, and I know my... I've learned more about passion, I guess, too. I know where my passion is and where I want it to go. That's very, very, that's big. That is huge. Thank you for sharing, Tammy. Thanks. All right, Natalia, um, you're next on my screen here. Do you want to share your number one goal for the week? Nice to see you. Welcome. Thank you. Um, as we discussed, I just moved forward with... Um, and I really appreciate, you know, meeting with you and just figuring out that this is a go ahead. So I'm on track with my goal for the week and hopefully for more than that. So I'm just happy. really happy to be here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We are happy that you joined in. Thank you, Natalia. And I think I still owe you some information. I will definitely get that to you. 
Thank you. You are mm-hmm. welcome. I did not forget. <laughs> all, right, all right, Oliver, welcome. Good to see you again today. Thanks for sharing, Natalia. Um, Oliver, so last week I asked you for your number one goal. You gave me a whole uh, whole slew of them. Share with us your number one goal for this week. How is that going? <laughs> well, it's. It, I would say it's going well. Uh, I've been working on my uh, business plan. And then just realizing that there's several phases to the business plan, like the vision, the uh, the different. And so I finished up uh, one of them and still m- mostly finished with the other one here. And don't, re- don't remember the exact order of which which they're in. And I've been enjoying that because I, while I've done business plans before, this just uh, really kind of makes me wish I started this, like maybe process like 10 years ago, you know, but anyhow, right. here I am. So it just kind of really ma- ma- makes me think and rethink like a lot of my goals and a lot of my uh, vision strategies. And so I've been, been working on that, still working on videos, still working on other content, stuff that I'll be putting together to send out via social media and to my newsletter blog and slew other things. So I got a long to-do list. Fantastic. Well, I'm happy to hear that, that that business plan is definitely number one, you guys. That is the first thing you need to get done and do. So I see you've all been communicating in the chat. That makes me super happy. Please keep doing that. Uh, As you know, I always end our call with a little bit of a, I don't know, a little bit of a tip or a teaching moment or a little coaching of some sort. Uh, Before I jump into that, was there any questions today before I jump into what I want to share? Everyone good? All right. Okay. Okay. So today I, I want to talk to a subject that's, that's very near and dear to my heart because it's something I myself had to work on very, very much. And it is about how your vibration really affects your level of wealth, right? And without getting too esoterical or too woo-woo here on you guys, it really is about you all know, I teach about showing up. I teach about confidence. I teach about vibrance. I teach about energy because our energy and our vibration is really what's going to determine what we are creating in our life. And so I really love the quote by Albert Einstein. who And Albert said, everything is energy and that is all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want, and you cannot help but get that reality, right? It can be no other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics, right? So, so important that we become more aware of what is the energy, what is the vibration that we show up with. So today, just to make it really practical for you, I want to share three tips that I started implementing in my life that really made a difference in how I vibrate about money. Because money, wealth, I was always that person that, you know, and, and all of us here are givers. And we tend to say, oh, it's not about the money. It is about, you know, it's about the passion. It's about the, the helping. It's about the, but we all already know that the more resources that we have, the more people we can help and the more we can sink our teeth into our passion uh, because we don't have to worry about wealth and money. So tip number one I want to give you today is know that money in your life is an expression of your own energy. So every time you consciously receive money, spend money or give money, you're reflecting how you view and feel about money. (laughs) right? So every time you got to do with money, how you act in that moment can make a huge difference. So it's very important that every time you earn or spend money, you're consciously aware of the energy you're putting behind it. A simple way to do this is to make sure, put a simple smile on your face every time you pay your bills, right? Be appreciative of what you're paying for. If you didn't have a mortgage, it also means you wouldn't have a roof over your house, over your head, right? If you didn't have a uh, electricity bill, it wouldn't. It would mean that you wouldn't have light, right? You wouldn't have electricity in your home. So show gratitude and be thankful for the bills that you're paying instead of complaining about them, right? So that's number one. Number two, 
be aware of your words and your thoughts also. It's, it really connects to that number one. But every time you speak negatively about your financial situation, you're lowering your vibration. So even if things are tough, always be positive in the best, most uh, positive way you can, right? So your words and thoughts are so powerful. They create actions that will ultimately impact your life in a positive and ne or negative way. So make sure you choose your words wisely when you talk to others and yourself. It can be easy to engage in conversations uh, or in situations where you complain about your financial situation, for instance. But instead of saying things like, oh, I can't afford this or that's too expensive, rather say, I choose not to invest in this thing or I choose not to buy this thing, right? Don't make, make yourself the person that's choosing this for yourself. You, and also, as you know, affirmations can be very powerful too. So in the mindset piece, it's really about what words you choose to use and also using some affirmations or even meditations that help with that. And then last, uh, put your health before your wealth because health is our greatest wealth. In order for us to carry that high vibration, we need to be healthy. So do take care of yourself. The healthier you are, the more confident and empowered you'll become. And this will bring more wealth your way. So you know that confidence and empowerment is my thing. That's what I'm passionate about. But that is that first stepping stone to raising your vibration to more wealth. Okay, so make sure you're doing everything it takes to keep yourself healthy, fit, vibrant. And only you and only you can create your best life and live with abundance of joy, prosperity, and happiness, you need to initiate that. Okay, so three things. You remember? Good. I hope you all made notes. Any questions or additions or thoughts about that? We, uh, we all Liz, did you want to say something? Oh, Thomas. Sorry, I'm on mute. Okay, okay I Liz, go to... first and then Thomas. Liz. I'm oh, sorry. I just wanted to add to what you said at the beginning because I've been doing a money course this year and I, I, I got this tip of when you're going to like balance your bank accounts or whatever, this dreaded thing or pay bills, make it like a date with money, right? Like pour a cup of tea or maybe take a hot bath after whatever your thing is. And just like make it a whole ritual while you're doing it. Light a candle or I don't know if I love that it. supports anybody, but I just, as you were talking, I was like, and. <laughs> and yes, absolutely. My mom always says, make these things fun. Make a game out of it. Make an event out of it. Make it a thing, right? Thomas, you wanted to share something. Yeah, I just wanted to piggyback on what you said when it comes to your vibration. And I just wanted to share, there's two things that really drive your behavior. And the first thing is your mindset, what's going on in your subconscious mind, right? And the second thing is your physiology, is how you feel. So, you know, doing the mindset thing takes some awareness, takes some nuance, takes some tools. But the most simplest thing you can do is, is work on the physiology, exercising, eating healthy, putting the right things, getting enough sleep. Because that stuff right there is going to make you feel good. And when you feel good, good things come into your life. So I just wanted to put a little twist on it because it's so important. I just wanted to share it in a slightly different way. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, you guys, please. I'm always open to share what you know. You know, that's why we're here. We're here to share and to learn and to collaborate. And so thank you, you guys. Um, Kim. Real quick, if this is of value, I met a man that was an accountant for a company and most of the time I hear people go, oh, God, what a job. And he had the mindset and the way of being with it that he was bringing balance to the company or bringing balance to his life. And he loved bringing balance. And he was just really happy about being the accountant. It was just a real shift. I love that. I love that. Yeah, it's always important, you know, and different people are passionate about different things. I always say to, to people who do a lot of numbers and accounting and that type of thing, I always say, all the power to you. I'm glad you love your jobs. Not for me, but hey, it's awesome. Yeah. So uh, yeah, raise those vibrations, you guys. My wish for you this week is to really put some focus towards that. 
bring some awareness towards that and love you all. I hope to see you all back here next week. Same time, same place. I'll be in Laguna Beach, but our call will happen. Okay. All right, everyone. Nice to see you guys. See you see guys. You. Thanks, Thanks for being here. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.